Hey, what's happening guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. Here's little Jack, coloured up lovely. I've got some brine shrimp for him today, so we're going to put some of those in for him in a little bit. And um, we'll see him have a little munch on some of those, I think. I put some black sand in here today. It's a little bit stirred up again because of the... Uh, I've washed it out a few times, but as with sand, it always, you always get a little bit of that... Um, residual dust hanging onto it somewhere so that's cleared up not too bad but all looking nice and with that sand covering those that volcanic rock now the plants will uh, will do a bit better off we can put some root tabs in amongst that later on looking pretty good so far quite happy with that all the plants doing well so I thought what we would do today is um, go and show you Vlad and what's been going on in that tank. And before we go and have a look in Vlad's tank, there's all the gear. Got all the gear now for this jellyfish tank, so we're going to have to get on with that shortly. Make sure uh, we've got all the bits that we need and we can make a start on that, which I'm looking forward to. Right, let's go and have a look at Vlad's little tank. Ah, there he is, hiding in his little cave. I can see little Dyson's fin waving around there, right in the background, that's where he lives. He lives in the back there. All the plants are doing well. Thousands of endlers still. I've taken a few out and put them in the other room. But he's doing a good job of keeping all the, uh, all these. Now I was gonna feed him a little bit of cucumber today. In fact, that's what we'll do today. I've just had a thought in my head and we can go and do it. Normally what I do, I see a lot of people do, is put a fork or a teaspoon or something of that nature through a bit of um, a bit of cucumber or whatever they're going to feed them, vegetable wise, and throw it in the tank and let it sink to the bottom just to hold it down or as you know it floats. So I think what we could do, we can shoot off into the workshop, fire up the old laser and, um, and try and make something to put our little bits of cucumber on, to put them in and something that we can take them out again. I'll have a quick think while we're going around and then we'll uh, we'll shoot back off into, off into the workshop. I've just spotted a little male in there. Look, there he is. I thought we'd taken them all out. Oh, in fact, there's two. Two young males. In fact, one of you guys did see them in here, I think, last time and said you missed two. And you were right. I have missed two. Yep, right in front of you there, you can see one, I can see two, in fact I can see three. So we'll have to, we can leave them in there for the time being, before they go into the bench tank. Little Vlad's doing well, since I've had him he hasn't shed. I don't know how close we can get to him there, it's, it's pretty grainy that picture, sorry. Oh, camera's gone mad. But you can see him in his little hide. Still got his little um, little baseball gloves out, feeding away there. But he's happy. Like I say, he hasn't shed yet. He's got quite a bit of algae, actually. If you look onto his antenna, he's got a bit of algae growing on the antennas now, which he keeps trying to scrub off. Normally, when you see that kind of thing going on, it's normally a time, you know, you're going to see a molt coming along soon. So it might not be too long before he molts out. So that'll be interesting when he does. He's a big guy now. So when you find normally they, when they're young, they, they molt a lot. As you know, if you keep shrimp, they molt quite frequently when they're young. But when they get to a mature size, they don't molt as much. And he hasn't molted since we've had him. So hopefully it will be soon and we'll have a new little polished Vlad come out. And we can get rid of that old shell and get rid of that and discard that away. Right, I think we should shoot off to the workshop. I've thought of it. I think I've got an idea in my head what we can do. Let's go and do it. Ah, look, there's the general. Sound asleep on the couch as usual. And you, always asleep. You're always asleep. Right, I don't know where Lemon is. He's around somewhere, probably sleeping. He's been out on the on the razzle all afternoon with his mates. Well, he might, he might make an appearance later on. Okay, guys, we're back in the workshop. Got the old laptop out. Got myself a nice piece of acrylic there. Nice piece of that blue stuff. Don't know where I put my glasses today. Can't find them anywhere. So we'll lock this up in place. Turning the old laser off. 
put that in there. Right, that's better. Right, we got that in the chocks now, all ready to go. And um, level him up nice. Stick all the old laptop on. Oh, I can't see anything around here. Where's my glasses? I can't find the damn things anywhere. Got to be around here somewhere. I know what I'll do. I'll be back in a minute. I can see you now. Excellent stuff. You can make anything on these things. Right, where was I? And let's go. And there we have it. Now this was my plan. I've cut that out there, put a hole through the top, hole through the middle, nice thick bit of acrylic like that. And what I just made as well, to save on a bit of time, is I've cut a smaller piece out there and put a smaller hole through the middle there and I've just put a piece of two mil acrylic through it. So now that now will fit Put your cucumber on there, spike that, focus, lock that in place, then your cucumbers on there in place, so they can have a good old munch all the way around it. You've got a bit of string then, onto there, or I might put a little magnet on there, so you can lower a string down and touch it on, so it'll sit on the bottom like that. They can have a good feed on it, it holds it down, it's a little bit more... Um, transparent so you're not going to see it as much as a big teaspoon under the water and um, yeah I think that's going to work I think we'll put a little bit of cotton on there now just tie it to it put a bit of cucumber on there put it in the tank and I'm sure the endlers will have a little bit of a, a munch on that when we put it in I'll make another one actually I'll make a thinner one now of uh, a bit of clear as well just in case Right, here we go. I'm going to put that in the tank. And that floats down and sinks perfect. Look at that. And that looks a little bit better than a horrible old teaspoon stuck through it. And it won't be long before these little endlers have a go. Little Dyson's over there, my little... My little Pleco. He'll be out, no doubt, soon. He's a little bit timid. But I'm sure he'll be out soon. I've got to clean this glass. A little bit of algae growing on it now, not too much. There you are, it looks quite funky there. Sat on the bottom there. Haven't put any cotton on us yet. You can always just go in with your tongs and pick it up afterwards, but it's a nice little weight just to keep it down. And I think it looks a lot better than that. I might knock a few of these guys up if you guys are interested in one of these. I'll chuck some on eBay. I'll make a few up if you want to have a go. And uh, 
Yeah, I'll put a few on eBay if you want to buy one of these guys. I'll make a few up. Yeah, it's not going to be long before the endless start having a go at this. That's sense in the water. Here they come. Yeah, it's quite an effective little cucumber holder, that. Right, guys, before we do anything else, I promised you we'd feed this beautiful guy here. <laughs> here he goes. What are you after now? I've got a, a nice little tub here. I made a little acrylic tub and fill it full of brine shrimps, which I bought from the shop. So, uh, I'll just pause you a minute. I'll get some of those out, suck some out, and put them in his tank, and then we'll have a look at him having a feed. Here we go, there's a few gone in. He had a few earlier, so uh, he might not be as hungry. He's got a little fat belly on him there. Oh, he nailed that one. <laughs> Great fun watching him hunting. You missed him, he shot round the back here. There you go, and a nice display to finish off. Anyway, guys, if you like these little videos, like, share, and subscribe if you would. And um, as always, you're all stars, look after yourselves, and I'll see you on the next edition of Mark's Aquatics. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Bye for now! Just me and my guitar.